So I was working with a uh, prospect the other day. He was asking a lot of questions about his Google business profile and why they weren't showing up very highly on Google Maps. And he's actually located in Rancho Cucamonga, California. So we just duped our location using our GMB Crush extension to be in Rancho Cucamonga and started looking up, you know, the competition in his area, just searching for window tint and saw a couple of interesting things, including what I call zombie listings. Other people call them lead generation sites. Basically, these are fake businesses that are set up uh, to create leads in an area and they create fake Google business profiles. Um, this is completely against Google's terms of service. Google wants to shut these down. It's just difficult for them to find them because they're all over the world and Google not necessarily doesn't necessarily have the time to shut them down themselves. Um, but there are things that you can do about it. So if you find yourself not ranking as much as you would like to or not as highly as you would like to on Google Maps, and you want to see how can I identify if there are uh, fake listings around me, I just thought I'd share how we identified some in the area and a couple other things that you can do on Google Maps. Uh, if you notice people who are trying to game the system, breaking Google's terms of service, and some people might call this snitching. I don't personally do any of these, but you know, businesses, I do recommend if you see a company that is breaking Google's terms of service, or if you find a zombie listing that is ranking in your area for a business that does not exist, you should report them because you're playing by the rules. They should play by the rules too. So here in Rancho Cucamonga, we looked around and a lot of these look totally legitimate. Accutent, Sage, Accutent, Tint of Rancho Cucamonga. These all look totally legitimate. This one, maybe, um, only has three, doesn't have a website. It's probably just a small shop. It doesn't really stand out. I hate tent shop again. Something about this, you know, I can't say for sure, um, but they do have a regular website. You know, I think it's probably okay. Wouldn't stand out to me as being odd. Uh, this one right here, SoCal Tint and Motorsports, uh, this is what's called keyword stuffing, putting paint protection, ceramic coatings, window tinting, Tesla and luxury car specialist, expel dealer. That is not their official business name. Uh, I would not be surprised if Google suspended this listing. Uh, if I were them, I would definitely remove this. Your Google business profile name is supposed to be your business name and not something else. This can definitely get you suspended, can get your listing shut down. Be very, 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 very careful about doing something like that. I would recommend to these guys that they change that. And again, legitimate listing. Uh, look at this. Uh, let's see. None of these are really standing out until I get to this one. Rancho Cucamonga Window Tinting. This is a super generic name. Notice that it's totally five stars. See any under on here? Like Supreme has five stars. These only have a couple. It has exactly 10 rankings and exactly five stars. Something to me, having looked at hundreds, thousands of listings, this one stands out to me as possibly being a zombie listing. Well, how can we figure out whether or not it is? Well, first thing we're going to do, we're going to open it up and let's look at their photos. That is generic. That's a stock photo. And it's submitted by the owner. It tells me that is not real. Right? That is not work that they've done. Let's look at their other photos. That's a stock photo. That's a stock photo. Um, and this is supposed to be their location. I don't see anything here that says Rancho Cucamonga window tinting. I see a Mediterranean restaurant. I see a postal shop. I see a dental center. I see a barber. I'm going to look at more of this in a second. But from that, it doesn't look legit to me. So let's look at their reviews next. 10 reviews. All of them are five stars. Now, the reason that stands out to me is odd. Uh, there are services where you can buy fake reviews and they sell them in packs of 10. <laughs> so whenever I see 10 reviews exactly, and it's exactly five stars, that always stands out to me as being shady. Well, look at this one. Tucker Knox seems like a real name. Two days ago, Rancho Cucamonga window tinting truly stands out as the finest in town. The level of craftsmanship and attention to detail in their services exceeding my expectations. I am thoroughly impressed with the exceptional results they delivered without a doubt wholeheartedly recommend their services to anyone seeking the highest quality window tinting that does not sound like a human to me all right let's look at sage look at their reviews brought a car to get tinted today sad we found never found them earlier such great communications perfect location and so nice this is how a human start sounds 
Additionally, they've got photos, right? Melissa Coronado, that's what a review sounds like. These do not sound like human beings. Additionally, you'll notice no photos till we get down here. And look at these photos. They're stock. <laughs> it's the same images. These are not images that a customer would post. They're just not. These are not images that you as a customer would find. There's no way. Right? And now look. Look at his reviews. Chattanooga window tinting. Craig's window tinting. Tampa window tinting. Vesalia window tinting. Rancho Cucamonga. Anyone that seem a little bit shady to me? Clearwater, Spring Heel. Why is this guy only reviewing window tinting companies <laughs> and reviewing them all across the country? I don't know about you, but that seems super shady to me. Seems like it's probably not a legitimate review. Let's look at more. Excellent services offered at a fair price. Offer all kinds of window tinting services, and I strongly advise them to you. That does not sound like a actual human being to me. Jacqueline Ariel. Let's see. We can't look at her reviews. Hasn't written any views yet. Or chosen not to show them to their public profile. I don't know about you, but that seems kind of shady to me. So to me, I look at these and they do not seem to be legitimate. So what, what can we do next? How can we really determine if this is an actual business or if this is a zombie site? Well, let's look at the website. It's a nice website, well constructed, learn more, call today. Same generic picture that a customer supposedly posted. Doesn't seem legit, right? Well, let's look. Is there an about section that will tell us about the company? Oh, here's an about section. Great. Let's see if we can hear anything about the owners. Our Rancho Cucamonga window tinting installers, da, 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 da. We deliver residential, every client. No mention of the owners, no mention of the team, no mention of anything specific about this company that would set it apart from another company. Everything on here is super generic. You're not going to find any mention of any actual human beings. You won't find any photos of their work. Everything is very, very generic. There's a post picture again that was supposedly posted by a customer. Hmm. Seems a bit odd, doesn't it? Again, frame coding. Let's see. Very generic. None of this seems like something that was done by an individual company. Um, so to me, I look at all this and I see nothing that says to me, this is a legitimate listing. Now, the last thing we can do is we can go look at their address and see if we find this business there. Remember, we looked at the street view and we didn't see anything. So again, let's go down here. All right, what is this? Is that a window tinting company? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it says dental. Dental center. Water and postal. Mediterranean restaurant. Barber. Cleaners. Coin wash. Lounge. Market. Urban furniture design. Auto zone. What's this? Is there a window tinting company in here? Is this is Rancho Cucamonga window tinting. Looks like a restaurant. Again, that one looks like it's available. They may be somebody moved in there. Maybe a window tint company moved in there. It's Taco Hut, All World Boxing. This is a different address, so it's definitely not here. So when I look at this, I see no indication that Rancho Cucamonga window tinting is an actual business, that it actually exists. I believe this is a lead generation site, which is fine. You can set up your lead generation uh, website, but this is completely against Google's terms of service. 
and Google should take this down because it doesn't actually exist here. And if you are one of these other businesses that are in here, and uh, especially if you're one of the ones that's ranking below Rancho Cucamonga, like All Shade, Superior, Cool It, Tint Connecta, etc., my suggestion would be suggest an edit. Change name or other details, close and remove. Now you can change name or other details on that. That's probably not what you're looking for. Close or remove. Doesn't exist here. This place doesn't exist. If you have a photo of it, you can add that to show that it doesn't exist there. But that would be the one that I would suggest. Um, the rest of them don't really fit. Duplicate, harmful, offensive. I would say do that because this is not an actual business that exists in that location. Uh, it's a lead generation site, which again, that part's fine, but having the fake Google business profile is completely against Google business uh, terms of service. And you as a business owner in the area with an actual business that's abiding by the rules, I think you are completely within your rights to report it, suggest an edit, report the business and say, this isn't a legitimate business and it shouldn't be on Google. So that's how you identify uh, zombie listings. Look for them just having generic stock photos. Make sure, look to see if the reviews seem completely fake like these ones do. Um, go to the website, see if they have any actual information on the business itself and see if it's actually there, if they have photos of the owner, if they have any mention of actual human beings, if they have anything other than stock photos, if they have an address, no address here, right? No reason to believe this is actually there because it's not. Uh, so check those things. And if you see businesses that are zombie listings that don't actually exist, but they're taking up room in the uh, Google Maps, I would be just reporting them because they're breaking Google's terms of service.